an unlikely hero, or shall I say, heroes, save the day. Episode 20 of the Clone Wars, titled Innocence of Ryloth, starts over the saying, The costs of war can never truly be accounted for. Then goes to Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi, who is sent on who is on a Republic cruiser preparing to drop dropships on Ryloth because Wat Talmar has invaded the planet. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, God, I'm so congested today. Has invaded the planet and enslaved the citizens. Obi Wan and the fellow clones drop off the ships after the clones are told only to shoot with poppers and blasters, no grenades or missiles, because they, they do not want to hurt the hostages. Obi Wan and the clones are ordered to destroy the guns in the tower, and does that by force throwing grenades up to the tower, and the clones take care of the rest. Once the outer defenses of the separatists are destroyed, Obi Wan sends Boyle and Waxer, who are two clones, up ahead to see if the area is all right to go in. The two clones find droids that are enslaving Twilight hostages and putting them in one large group. Meanwhile, Boyle and Waxer are reporting about this. A recon droid reports and spies on them, reporting to Wat Tumbar. Boyle and Waxer then find a Twilight toddler named Numa hiding in the back alley in one of the Twilight houses. The clones give Numa a little something to eat and then move on, but Numa runs ahead of them to a house which Boyle and Waxer soon find out was hers before the droids destroyed it. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan tries to get in touch with Boyle and Waxer, but does not, and is being watched by the same recon droid. Back at home, Boyle and Waxer encounter good, good, good curse, horrible, ugly creatures who try to kill them, but Numa leads them to a cellar that leads to a pothole on the road which Obi-Wan and the clones are standing right on at the moment. They group back together and save the hostages by Cody and some clones, creating a diversion to the droids, while Obi-Wan goes through tunnels, leading right to the hostages, taught by Numa. The real heroes of the day are the Twi'leks, after rescuing Obi-Wan, Boyle, Waxer, and Numa from Watambar and his tank, by, taking it, by going up the tank and taking his parts off and ripping him apart. In the beginning of the episode, when Obi-Wan and the clones dro dropped down from the dropship and just started to run and started to, like, off and do an offensive and started to rush in to the outer field of the, I guess, the hostages, it kind of reminded me of a, this is going to be weird because you'd think I'm so young, but uh, I guess I do a lot of history or something, but it kind of reminded me of Normandy, World War Two, rushing in the beaches in Normandy. It was kind of like that. It's almost the same. Well, not the same way because they were almost going uphill and the soldiers in World War Two were like going on a beach, but you can get my gear drift. And, uh, I don't get how the clones, and Obi-Wan for that matter, couldn't detect that recon droid. Come on, the recon droid was just like a few feet away, but up on a roof. It, I thought maybe not in this cartoon, but maybe in some some movies, someone detected a recon droid. These people could not; the clones were not trained to detect a ho uh, hostile. Come on, now they're getting a little far fetched or something. I don't know what's happening. And uh, what what was the? Oh, I still have time here, so I'm gonna say all the notes. I wrote up a lot of notes. I'm going to try to squeeze them in. What was the overall plot? Because I know the Separatists went on Rylot. Like, to get hostages. But what was their overall main thing to do? They got hostages. Now what? Can someone please tell me that? Thank you. Um. Oh. Next week. Oh, or... I just want to say this episode got a 5 out of 5 because it's a great episode. It was a great episode. I think it's better than um better than that the village episode where Anakin's injured and there's a Padme and Luminara. Yeah, I think it is with the villagers and 
I think this is much. I think this is better. Yeah, so th I guess this is the best episode yet. And uh, there was a commercial. Oh, then two minutes. Okay, there was a commercial on last night of this guy, Cade Bane. Personally, I've been doing these Star Wars reviews, and I've never heard of him. You might, you probably say I'm crazy, but I never heard of him. Maybe he's an he's an EU character, or if it's a character in the middle of the Clone Wars, I never heard of him. So uh, it's like it's not an exciting character for me. So this is gonna be a normal episode that's coming. The last episode, what's it gonna be? Because this is part two. Next week is gonna part three, and there was a commercial saying there's two episodes left. So is the last episode going to be a cliffhanger or something? Because I really don't want that to happen. Because season two is des destined for uh, September. I'm not going to wait a whole cliffhanger until September. That's too much. And uh, since I have only three minutes left, I want to talk about this. This is sort of not off topic, but idea. I had an idea of every story arc for every episode. Not every episode, but whatever story arc they put into, like, two or three episodes. They can make that a downloadable action game for, like, Xbox Live, Arcade, or WiiWare, or PS3 Store. Because, imagine fighting, imagine playing a game where you're doing exactly what Obi-Wan and the clones were doing last night. Or imagine <coughs> playing as R2. Trying to kill R3. You got, you get my drift. You could be like five dollars each. They're greedy. They'll probably put it at ten. But that's an idea for Star Wars people. And uh I'd say really. Wow. I did really fast. Uh rate, comment, subscribe, and that's it. Don't forget about the question of the week. The question of the week is, if you were in the Star Wars, if you were on the Star Wars creative team of the Clone Wars, what would be one thing you would change? I don't, my personal opinion, I would, I would try to get the Star Wars the Clone Wars. We already had the Star Wars movie. Those, that movie aimed on Anakin and Obi-Wan. I want, if I was on the creative team, I would make it more clone themed, or more like the adventures of, well, that could be a spin-off, the adventures of Boyle and Waxer. <laughs> well, uh, I would make it more clone themed, more episodes about the clones, because we already got the movie with Anakin and Obi-Wan. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and that's it.